Minata Samate Sesuma, ably represented by Dr. Kabele Matlosa. Honorable Madam Soyata Maega, Chairperson of the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I crave your indulgence to stand on existing protocol. On behalf of my colleagues of the Forum on the Participation of NGOs in the 64th Ordinary Session of the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, I have pleasure as spokesperson to deliver this statement on this auspicious occasion. Please allow me to thank the chairperson, my Honorable Soyata Maiga, and the members of the African Commission for affording us this opportunity. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at the request of participants, I extend our gratitude to the government and people of the Arab Republic of Egypt for the hospitality extended in facilitating the activities of the 64th Ordinary Session and to express the appreciation of the Forum of NGOs for the cordiality accorded them since their arrival on Egyptian soil. However, participants of, at the Forum have expressed their dismay at the number of NGOs that have been denied visas. Furthermore, some of them complained about facing prohibitive rates which curtailed their engagement in sharing at side events. Moreover, participants have also uh, expressed their concern by the lack of participation of local and indigenous Egyptian NGOs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Forum on the Participation of NGOs in the 64th Ordinary Session of the African Commission was held um, here in Sharm el Sheikh from the 20th to the 22nd April 2019. Although the turnout at the Forum was lower than expected, uh, it did not in any way affect the quality of the objective debate on issues of mutual and professional interest which led to the adoption of, the, of commendable outcomes. Over 135 representatives from 25 African countries participated, including participants from Europe and North Africa, North America. The program of the forum looked at three different uh, themes, basically the development of, um, um, on the situation of human rights and democracy on the continent, uh, the review of specific human rights relevant to the work of the African Commission, and also looking at networking for human rights in Africa. Furthermore, the main theme of the forum was aligned to that of the African Union uh, theme, 2019 theme of refugees, returnees, asylum seekers, and internally displaced persons towards durable solutions to forced displacement in Africa. The full report of the forum, together with the adopted resolutions and recommendations, namely six country resolutions and two thematic resolutions on the death penalty and birth registration, uh, one petition, and uh, one letter of protest will be forwarded to the African Commission for your kind consideration. However, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to um, highlight a few um, issues uh, during our deliberations. In reviewing the human rights situation on, on the continent, the forum uh, applauded positive developments and um, these include the adoption of the access to information law in Ghana, the positive signs of new leadership in Ethiopia, which has witnessed the appointment of women to key decision-making positions, and the lifting of the state of emergency, as well as the conducting of peaceful elections in Senegal. The forum applauds the stance of the African Union Commission in drawing attention to the provisions of the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance, 
and urging states to ensure, to ensure that the will of the people in the popular civil uprising in Algeria and Sudan are respected. Corruption is real and the challenge of curbing this social economic ill remains a daunting task. And uh, it was also highlighted based on the theme of the uh, forum that refugees, returnees, and asylum seekers, IDPs, are all as a result of human rights violations that has, um, that has plagued the African um, continent. Madam Chairperson, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of upholding the principle of ensuring human rights for all, it was agreed that education, and particularly education for human rights, cannot be ignored as a necessary ingredient in the process of nurturing a culture of human rights, good governance, peace and security. Your Excellency, the Forum continues to appeal to states which have not ratified pertinent regional treaties to speedily do so in order to enable their implementation. The ratification of many regional and international instruments by many states are commended. However, the usual challenge of harmonization and implementation of these treaties at the national level remains. We also would like to congratulate the three countries who are, whose reports are being considered at this session. And we would like to urge those who have not uh, submitted their reports to um, consider doing them at the earliest possible time. The forum also pays tribute to uh, four outgoing um, commissioners who would be finishing their tenure uh, later this year, namely uh, Maiga, Commissioner Maiga, Commissioner Aswabo, Commissioner Jung and Mute. The forum recognizes and appreciates the laudable contributions they have made to this noble, to this noble to, in this noble task uh, by these daughters and sons of Africa. We will we wish them well in their future endeavors. Participants also commend the African Commission for all the gains made in fulfillment of their mandate as we continue to pledge our support for the work that is being done by Africa's premier human rights institution. It is gratifying to note that this, finally it would be remiss of me not to extend our most sincere appreciation to all our partners and supporters. And I must say here that we wanted to recognize the presence of the two special UN special rapporteurs on human rights defenders and freedom of peaceful assembly uh, who accompanied us during the forum and are here with us this morning. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the participants of the forum, on the participation of NGOs in the work of the 64th Ordinary Session of the African Commission, I extend to you, Honorable Chairperson, and to all the commissioners, our best wishes for a fruitful session. <laughs>